was about 1917, you said. That was that. right. So that was right around the time the Holocaust was That's closing, uh, then, was December it? the 6th, yeah. Do you have any memories of that? Oh, that I have day? vivid me what memories. Were you, what were you doing on the day? The, 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 day the day that I remember, I was filling a, a blowtorch for Mr. Rushbrook to go up to the, one of the boats. They, they sealed all the uh, uh, operating and electrical work uh, when the boats came in and they put them in the basin. And anyway, I was filling my, this torch for them. And the first explosion drove me in under the step, right up, like that side, right? D d drove me on uh, uh, there. And then I came out and drove me in the second time. And by this time, all the girls, uh, we, the stenographers, were all picked with glass and wow. glass and everything. Did moved. you uh, have any injuries resulting? No, in no, no, none at all. What, no. was, what was it like uh, right after? The final, the, the second explosion. Well, uh, there there was a lot of act activity and a lot of persons hurt, right. bad, bad, and uh, uh, Joe Joe uh, Jarrett and I decided to get home as quick as we could because we realized that was uh, was a, there was trouble there. How old were you at the time? Uh, Fourteen. 14. Fourteen, no, and my dad was overseas. When I was the the oldest of the of the the right. children. So your father was serving in uh, World War One then. Yes, yeah. on a railway outfit. Right. You went home right away. Right. Well, I found the roof was down in the the first floor, the roof and all. Right. So I crawled under the the roof, and uh, I heard my mother. Holler and uh, and my brother, Charlie, and uh, he uh, he was on the second floor, and now he was in the first floor, and he, the the bed had folded in on him, and I had to get Martin Driscoll to help me to get him out, and then we got at the mother. And if she had been locked in the, uh, uh, her, her feet or anything, she would have burnt to death there. See, it was the 6th of December, and the hall, store, the hall stove was gone. Right. Yeah. Now, Charlie wasn't hurt, was he? Oh, yes. Okay. He was bad crash on the back yeah. the, the, there, yeah. and, uh, and uh, a little so side injury. Were there any of uh, the other brothers and sisters home at the time? No, they were going to school. At school. And incidentally, one of the girls was decapitated. Was she in school at the time? No, going to school. They were, they were a, a block from the school at the time. So uh, she was the only one of your family that really was killed. Was uh, that's, that's right. right? Well, that's right. Your mother right. survived it? No, uh, for nine days. For nine days. And they took her... The, the Americans were were here, and they took her fingers off, the, these two fingers, right. and uh, block uh, lockjaw set in, oh. and they couldn't cure it right. because uh, they didn't have it as they do today. They would gave yeah. their tetanus. Right. So now your your mother was dead, and your father's still overseas. Right. So and he never went came home till April. On my own. On your own. Yeah. You were the oldest, you were saying. That's right. So you took care of the family now. That's uh, right. Uh, no. What was the difference between your age and the, the next one down? Was there a big difference between the age of your... your uh, two years. From you, from you yes. to your next brother? It, yeah, yeah. And how old was the youngest? Uh, uh, two months. Uh, about 12 months. 12 months. Yeah. So that's quite a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how did yeah. they handle it now? You were working at the time. Well, uh, right where the infirmary is now, yeah. my, my uh, aunt Mary took two of us. And right across the street from the infirmary, 
my, my other aunt lived, and they took two. And the other three were uh, uh, left in the uh, sacred convent, Eva? Yes, yeah, sacred, uh, sacred convent. Uh, just pro tem until we got settled. Right, so where did you go? You stayed with one of your aunts, did you? That's right, yeah. that's right, and Mary, Aunt Mary, oh. on Queen Street. Now, what was it like, I mean, after the explosion took place? I mean, obviously there's a lot of panic, people running around, and, uh, uh, but how did you feel about the people, uh, they all, did people all come together as a unit trying to help everybody? That's and, right. And, uh, and every day I used to have to go down to the uh, uh, armories right. and get our rations. So the food was rationed. Yes, right, right. Wow. Terrible storm. I uh, take it that, that might have killed more people. That it tents. did. It did they, because they were living in tents on the commons. On the commons right. And and some of them I got, didn't have any place to stay, I guess, other than churches and something of that nature.